All right, everyone, the other day it was reported, and this comes from anonymous sources, so make sure to keep that under your hat as a tip when you're analyzing these sorts of things. Uh, it was reported that Donald Trump had been speaking for some time with people around him, uh, both in a serious and not so serious tone about the possibility of the U.S. acquiring uh, the nation of Greenland. Now, Greenland is a nation. There's First, there's some colonial confusion. Greenland is a fully functioning autonomous state with its own flag and government. That being said, it is technically under the dominion, under the header of Denmark, which, you know, doesn't really have any military capability to guard it. That's the U.S. responsibility through its actions through NATO. Our furthest north base, by the way, is actually in Greenland, for those that are not aware. It's not Canada, not a, not, not a, a joint sharing operation with the Russians. No, it's, it's in northern Greenland. It's an early warning system in case uh, nukes are flying, so to speak. Here's how you do it, if you are serious about wanting Greenland. Would it be a wise investment? Uh, yeah, kinda. The problem is when the temperature drops again, it could be pretty much uninhabitable under a mile of ice, but, you know, it could take a little while, so, uh, we, you know, you can buy in the meantime. We, we can uh, you know, have an ice cube farm up there in the meantime, once the uh, oil drilling apparatuses are completely destroyed by glaciers re-advancing at some point in the next thousand years. Uh, here's how you do it. The nation of Greenland has a very, very low population. You simply tell the people of Greenland, you'd have to officiate it here first. You'd have to enshrine it in law. You pass a, a law, if Greenland petitions to join, and we're officially encouraging that, we'll give X amount of money to each person in Greenland and X amount of money uh, additional to anyone who has a business, some sort of industrial or commercial holdings there, property that's not residential. You get people to vote in favor of it if they do so. The, if it puts pressure on Denmark to respect such a referendum, you'd probably have to conduct diplomacy with them first, even if Greenland is technically more or less autonomous. Denmark handles the diplomatic side of things. But would it be possible, I mean, the nation of Denmark doesn't particularly, they pump subsidies into Greenland. They're not getting anything out of it, in part because they're not developing some of the resources potentially that are there. They don't have the ability to extract anyway. The U.S. has already leaned on them to prevent them from allowing the Chinese to build airstrips, among other things. We've definitely exacted hegemony over Greenland already uh, here in the United States. Since Denmark is doing nothing with it, I don't see why they would look askance to being paid off some tens of billions and then we pay some more to the people of Greenland incorporated as a territory uh, and or a, a state. I think it is possible. Um, I can't imagine it have much of a tourist draw or anything, but it's, yeah, it's possible to do. It's also got a huge amount of shore frontage, you know, even, even the fishing industry does exist. Uh, it's just that Greenland, there's only a very small proportion of Greenland that's actually <laughs> what you would consider even close to green. There aren't a lot of vegetables growing on the island, so you have to pump food in, you have to pump resources in. But, like Alaska, which functions in the same way, it is possible for people to make a living there. It's energy. Energy and other reason, energy and minerals in the case, I believe, of Greenland as well. We've been conducting a lot of research up in Greenland as well as in the South Pole. Uh, lately because we've realized, oh, just because it's ice on the surface doesn't mean there's not rocky stuff below it and it's, it's been untapped. Nobody's mined it. Nobody's explored it. There could be anything there. There prob probably is oil, which kind of defeats the uh, theory of uh, the, the dinosaur soup theory, uh, I believe. There could be oil, coal, natural gas, diamonds, gold, <laughs> basically everything else under the sun. Denmark doesn't have the ability to extract it. Denmark doesn't even have the population, doesn't have the uh, economic output in order to build the kind of equipment needed to do so. But the U.S. does. China does too, which is clearly why they want to get their foot in the door, just like they did down in Nicaragua. And they want to make inroads in other parts of the world, because it pays off. It's all about the money long term. The U.S. is on the forefront of such maneuvers. It is theoretically possible. We could, it is legal for us to incorporate even entire other nations as states. It would be, for instance, there's no particular prohibition. Let's say Russia tomorrow petitioned to become a series of U.S. states. There's no law against it. There's no stringency against it whatsoever. If any foreign state wants to be, Hong Kong could petition tomorrow to become a U.S. protectorate. It is possible for them to do that. By the way, the key to people of Hong Kong, you should just do a petition to become a U.S. state. 
We'll see what happens here. I mean, it, it, Hong Kong is almost the size of Rhode Island, I think. It's not, I mean, it's tiny, but it's bigger than D.C. at least, I believe. So, you know, no problems. But probably bigger than Samoa or Guam. I'm not sure. What's the actual square footage of Hong Kong? Is it even me uh, measured in square miles? It might not be. Uh, it, you know, sticking around with that. But yeah, uh, Greenland could petition to become a state. Or the, pe the people of uh, Greenland at large could do that. Denmark could also just get tired of pr uh, propping them up and say you're on your own at any given time. In which case they would be uh, fucked, basically. You, you, when you don't have any domestic agriculture and you've got this population of you know, almost 60,000 people at least. Yeah, it could be a problem to feed them all. I guess you'd be uh, reliant on the world sending MREs or something. And you know, when you're in that kind of climate, you're burning through calories anyway. Just moving around must be exhausting in such a place. Yeah, very, very bitterly cold, but there's a lot of energy there. And definitely be good for the U.S. economy. Be good for Greenland, too. You know, maybe there'd be a paved road. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, how many towns are actually in Greenland anyway? Isn't it only like, there are only like four substantial developments, I think, in the whole country. And that's what it is. It's, it's not just, oh, well, it's a state of Denmark. Well, no, not really. Keep that in mind. Does anyone live in the far north part of the country, other than some U.S. soldiers stationed at a radar station? I don't even know. Uh, by the way, most Americans are probably unable to find it on a map, and most of the rest of them think that it's the size of the continent of Africa. It's actually uh, a problem with projections on maps, because at the poles, things get stretched out to uh, abysmal dimensions. Uh, Greenland is actually not that big, yeah. I'm sorry to say, but we wouldn't actually be doubling our nation's land area. It's still a good buy, though. It is, it's, I mean, it's possible. Yes, uh, Trump's not wrong to speculate the possibility. But, I mean, he could speculate that about basically anything in the world. He'd say, well, what if China was going to just become a bunch of U.S. states? It'll never happen, but it could. In theory, there is a process, there is a government mechanism within the U.S. legal system to admit new territories and states. It's possible to do that. Greenland would be a ripe candidate. Large land area, small population density, it's got the resources. The current, you know, nation that's propping it up, uh, economically not a superpower. Um, and it's under the influence of the U.S. anyway, Denmark is, as well as Greenland. We'd see whether the people of Greenland would be a... Uh, willing to do such a thing, but since there is that colonial question, I wouldn't think that there's a hefty amount of patriotism of being technically sort of Danish. And the demographics certainly don't look like Denmark. It's totally, it's a totally different country. <laughs> so, <laughs> it could be, it could be. Uh, yeah, just bribe them, offer them a bunch of money. Say, okay, well, give Denmark this money, and we're going to give the people of Greenland this money, and here's some other problems. We'll build this and that and the other thing, and you know, it'll be a good time had by all. Yeah, we could pull it off. The U.S. probably better than anyone else. That's about all. Peace out.